you can very easily and quickly recognize this as being skin again. Notice we have a fairly thick stratum corneum. We have all of the classical layers of the epidermis. We have a nice sinusoidal or papillary type interface between the reti pegs of the deeper portions of the epidermis and the uh, papillary dermis. So far, everything looks pretty nice. What you see, however, in the deeper portions of the dermis and possibly extending into subcutaneous fat is something that looks kind of a big, bizarre, and unusual. And I will try to delineate the margins of it now. It seems to be kind of like this. It looks like a large nodule that is uh, necrotic. In that, when you look closely, you cannot see too many outlines of cells. It also uh, may have some uh, scar tissue in it, and it also seems to be rimmed peripherally by inflammatory cells, chiefly lymphocytes. If you are thinking that it, this is reminiscent of a granuloma, I think you could, we could say you're probably correct. This is like a granuloma. Uh, the large central portion is uh, a fibrinoid or has fibrinous necrosis. The peripheral part of it seems to be almost palisaded uh, by these uh, fibroblasts. This is a classical appearance of a rheumatoid nodule. Uh, rheumatoid nodules can be seen in people that have rheumatoid arthritis. They can be seen in people uh, that have rheumatoid arthritis uh, in which there is no connection or association of these things with the joints themselves. They can be in, seen in the lung. They could be seen in soft tissues. In this one, you're looking into the skin and subcutaneous area. Uh, occasionally, rheumatoid nodules can be seen in people that do not have joint symptoms whatsoever. Uh, and that does not mean they have rheumatoid arthritis. If they do not have arthritis, it just means that they have a rheumatoid nodule. And once again, it's a centrally necrotic fibrinoid type of necrosis uh, rimmed by a sort of a palisaded or lined up arrangement of uh, fibroblasts. And it is fairly well delineated. There usually are not the classical types of epithelioid or uh, multinucleated giant cells that you would see in other types of granulomas. But I think most people would agree that a rheumatoid nodule is a type of granuloma. And thank you very much.